Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel and today's episode is on action figures and you can see right in the middle there uh, just in time for Halloween we found at Walmart the thing ultimate McReady station survival action figure and as you can see here uh, we've got a few other action figures here including this one right here if you remember there's another Kurt Russell right there from 2008 that's also by NECA uh, and that was from uh, Death Proof uh, Grindhouse it's Stuntman Mike and then uh, we got uh, over here uh, a NECA Predator action figure uh, and we did find the last aliens over here this is the arachnoid alien so if you remember our previous video not too long ago we did on the aliens the newest wave also picked up at walmart uh, it was the chrysalis alien the razor claws alien and this is the arachnoid alien one of the coolest things about that just a quick note is is that his little um inner set of teeth do retract and come out so that was pretty cool and then over here we have ash all right so let's go ahead and open this mcready uh from john carpenter's movie the thing uh one of our one of my favorite movies uh really really awesome film and he is of course one of my favorites and in the movie one of the one of the favorite characters that i i like all right so let's check this out all right just going to show you this before we op open up the actual package there he is, very, very awesome. Uh, you can see he's got, I believe, his flamethrower. Um, so we'll see once we open that up. There's, let's see, check out the back of the box. Yeah, there it is. So there's the flamethrower. Can't wait to put that on him. Uh, that is going to be quite nice. All right, so we've got him out of the box. There he is. He stands on his own. He doesn't need a stand. How cool is that? Now, one thing I noticed uh, as I was taking all these pieces out that I'm a little bit disappointed um, let's see, back in July, I believe, NECA on their website had him with his uh, other hat. Um, I, can't, I don't know what kind of hat it is, but it's really, really cool. And it didn't come in here, so, you know, that's it. We just got the uh, extra head, which we probably won't put on right now because I like him with his hair, man. Very cool like that. Uh, but we'll try to put as much of this on as possible. And probably won't do the hands. Right now he has his gloves, but it does come with uh, different sets right here of hands, as you can see. Okay, so we can't wait to put his flamethrower on. <clears throat> very, very cool. There's just like a little bit like a backpack. And then we have the actual flame here, which just inserts into the actual gun part of it. Probably should put the backpack on first, and then we'll show you. So but that's what it looks like. We'll have him hold it. Hold it. And then it came with some other cool stuff. So it's got his handgun as well a little handgun pretty well detailed and pickaxe go that route if you want to his pickaxe and then um it has dynamite look at that see mecca does a good job with detailing these and then uh we have the and i didn't know what this was at first i had to look at it and i didn't know what these were i was like this is like a little creature or something and what it is is this is a little dish here so you can see that that's the little dish that he was sampling and then this is what he was using right here and then yeah because it's in the back of the box and then this goes into there that's actually the blood sh uh, shooting up because it's the thing so if you remember that scene that famous scene so yeah we're gonna try to put that in his hand uh, I think that's a very cool thing to have. Um, okay, so uh, this was quite fun. Now, putting his uh, backpack on, I tell you this right now, the two straps on there are very, um, their attachments come off very easily. So uh, still, you can hang the uh, flamethrower on him. And surprisingly, he does stand, as you can see, he stands uh, with the flamethrower uh, on him yeah so that's pretty cool and then i thought i'd put that on there that's the sampling dish with the blood coming up uh, and he's looking at it. his head moves up and down as well as left and right so that's pretty cool and then of course he does have his little gun holster right here so we could probably just go ahead and put the gun in there you can see that's the strap that i'm talking about that is supposed to come all the way over here whoops and it really doesn't uh, attach the got like a it's like a little hook 
and uh, both sides and it just yeah they don't work very well at all so you'd probably have to i don't know if you could glue them or not but all right so there he is let's turn him around for you so very 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 cool and his backpack came loose a little bit but there you go see it on there he's got his gun belt as well his bullets very well detailed and of course you know they always have holes in their feet uh, he's got on both sides so if you want to put him on a on one of the stands NECA stands it's, you can do that and of course that was a previous episode if you haven't seen that check that out which action figures fit on those NECA stands um, so this is I believe a seven inch action figure and uh, yeah so you know if you want to get some of the other um, attachments you probably want to change out his his hands uh, in order to do that so all right so that is McReady from the movie The Thing, John Carpenter's The Thing, and there he is. He is coming right at you, just like the box. So very, very cool. All right, hopefully you liked the episode, folks. Uh, if you do, give us a thumbs up. And, of course, you want to see more uh, toys videos, uh, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching, and have a great day.